Coach, let's jump in. And I know you got to jump out pretty quick. We'll get the coach in. He's going to be at Page for the filming tonight of the Page, filming the Page and Northern JV game. But coach Norris with us. Coach, the videographer and cameraman standpoint, what were the Page positives last week, positives for Page last week? You saw everything right through that lens of that camera. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, after we got done, it was like, it was like they practiced. They played like they practiced. And I don't know what you take out of it. I mean, looking at what I was looking at up there with the coaches and, you know, I, they did some things well on offense. Um, they protected the quarterback pretty good. So the Def offensive line, the young offensive yeah. line did their job. I think they did a good job. I think they did a good job. Um, defense played play well, but I think they was on the field too long. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was kind of like, uh, you know, we turned it over, and the defense was right back out there. Had some turnovers, it was right back out there. But they, they, they held their own. They held their own. And um, I think they got a little bit relaxed after they went up by two touchdowns. And, you know, David County kind of stayed out. What kind of game did Javon Leak have last week, in your opinion? He, you know what? He did, he did really well. He did really well. I can't take anything away from his game. He ran the ball hard, you know, every time. Caught passes out of the backfield. Um, had two nice runs. Um, I think he did real well. What about uh, well. Will Jones? What kind of game for Will last week? Will, <laughs> he threw the ball well. Had some drops. You know, here and there, if they could have caught some of those passes, probably would have been a different outcome. But, you know, first game, first game jitters, you know, probably pumped up, jacked up, and, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you got to level it sometimes out. Sometimes those jacked up games, too. I know a lot of the quarterbacks. Hendon Hooker's done this. I know Will's probably done this. I'm sure Jared Rainey's done this. They've all done this. A lot of times they throw it into the ground or just trying to Yeah, hard. I mean, Will, he's, um, you know, Will, he has that it factor. He's He's pretty dang good. He's um, he's calm and cool and collective. You know, he threw an interception, but, you know, and he, he fumbled one, but he's not one that goes over the sideline and put his head down. He just comes right back out of it. What about Cameron, uh, Cam Gavin? How did Mr. Gavin do? No you know what? I, I don't even know if he played that much, to mm -hmm. be honest with you. He's a, I think he's a young kid. He's a sophomore. You know, I think he got to find his way. Yeah. You know, they they only keep working with him. Um, he's He can be a talent. He can be a force on the line. But, you know, he, he has to have the trust of everybody else, and he, got, he has to want it. You know, from what I gather and, 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 you know, sitting in a couple of times when they talk to him, he has to, um, he has to step up. I know he's young, but he's, you know, to play that, that type of football on Friday nights, he, he has to come with it. To ensure that Paige uh, has a better outcome and a better result this week than they had last week, what are they going to do different this week? Have a better practice week. You know, it's, 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 it all starts in practice. You know, you got to start taking everybody serious. You know, you can't overlook anybody. You know, which, that's why we say, you know, that's why we play the game. On right. paper, you know, we could be better. Mm -hmm. But you still have to play the game. And Northern's got a little bit of advantage, too. The advantage they've got, one thing they'll tell each other, say, well, Paige played last week and they lost. At least they are a beatable team going in. Yeah, I think, you know, and I think everybody's a beatable team. But if, it, you know, if you come in lackadaisical and, and taking your opponent for granted. No, you can't do you that. Know, you, no. you can't do that. And, yeah, they saw – I know some coaches there last week from um, Northern. They got I to see the game. I bet that place was packed with but, Northern coaches and Northern But players. I tell you what, you know, it's, it's, that's great that they could they can see that. But yeah. it'll be a different team this Friday night. I think you're probably right. I'm coach pretty sure it's going to be a different team this Friday about night. execution. The execution is not correct. Somebody may get it executed if they're not careful. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's serious business. I'm yeah. sure Coach Weeks is telling the same thing. Well, you know, looking, you know, up there with Weeks, you know, he had a kind of that look in his eyes. He didn't say much, probably like the fourth quarter. And it's very, that was very unusual for me to see him like that because he's very vocal up in the box. But he knew something wasn't right. I think him and Coach G agreed on, you know, the practice. You know, it wasn't really focused. And I think going forward, in the next weeks to come, you'll see a different page team every week get after it. And, you know, they lost two games last year, you know, in the regular season. True. Lost a hard burn in the East Forsyth, lost to um, Delhi, and then we went on a run. So these guys right here, I'm going to tell you, they, they you know, they'll get together. So I'm asking this, you're probably alluding to it already. So Page can and still will contend for a state title. I, I, I think they can. You know, that offensive line has really been coached up. They've come along with they're young, but I think the guys have coached them up to a point where they know, you know, very fundamentally sound, very technique, and it's just a point to keep coaching them up week after week and letting them know that they can, uh, they can hang in there with the big boys. Let me ask you this: What about uh, if you were back on the field this year? What area would you be coaching? Wide receivers. You get the wide receivers. Yeah. They got some new ones too. Yeah, they do. I mean, uh, 
got uh, Coach Parker. He's he's no longer there, but uh, I think um, you know guys getting used to a new coach. You know, it might be a different language, might be some more some different stuff. So you, know, you, you just got to basically just got to go with it. Yeah. You know, you just got to you know. You just like changing coaches. Well, so think about if you're a new receiver and young and haven't had much time yet, at least with the other guys being gone, that means you get more opportunities. At least coming in, you know you they got, yep. they got a chance to get the ball. You get, you get a fair chance because yeah. – but he's been there for a while, and you know, he worked with the receivers last year. So he sees – but like you say, the new guy, you all have a chance to prove yourself, you know, what you want to do anyway. And that was another point I was going to bring up too. Paige has seen a lot of coaches moving up lately to a head coaching jobs and moving on and assistant coaches, head jobs. And uh, like you say, new coaches coming in too. Yeah, we got some. Uh, got one of the guys from East Forsyth, um, defensive line coach, and uh, coach. Um, um, he went to the defensive line coach. Went to I think he went to Wake Forest, Roseville. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Helms. Mr. Helms, coach Wilson, Helms. Wilson, yeah. Helms. Yeah, yeah. He, he had an opportunity. To got get a good job down there. That's yeah, good. he's um, hey. That guy's a hard worker. He was, you know, one, yeah, just you like gotta, his dad. His dad was yeah. Totally back I mean, I know his dad really dad. well. We coach against each other when he was at um, yeah, High Point Central. Central. Yeah. But you know, the thing is, that's the credit of Coach G. You know, seems like if you oh, got yeah. guys underneath you and they're getting head jobs, that's the, the beauty of of a guy who, who who can teach and your coaches learn from. And you're saying earlier, you're saying you're coaching up your players, but you're coaching up your coaches too. Absolutely. Coach them. I mean, you know, Coach G trusts his coaches, just like Stephen Davis. He trusts his coaches. You know, you got to have those guys that you can go to war with and you can trust them. As a head coach myself for baseball, stuff. yeah, you, you only got to have good assistants. You're only good as your assistants are. You can't do it all by yourself. What do you think about the future of Paige? And we're looking ahead maybe too far, but still we got to keep our eyes on uh, everything, eye on the prize, what's happening. The future of Paige with the Pirate Tetra, Will Jones and Javon Leak are both in on the college football. What about the future I of I think they're going to be all right. Um, you know, looking at those young guys, they got a uh, – a good quarterback. I don't know his name, but I, I've watched him um, a few times. He's gonna he, he's gonna be okay. I think um, the more experience he gets and the more playing time he gets when the varsity rolls around, I think he's gonna be all right. I think they're gonna have some good backs. And, you know, they got some young receivers. Um, I think they're gonna be just fine. It's just a matter of growing into your spot, maturing, and getting coached up. Is uh, Javon Leak taking anybody under his wing yet? Got a little running back from the future back there with him? I think he got his, his back up. I think. Um, the guy that serves him out does a really good job. He runs hard, but you know Javon don't want to come out. No, no. You know he's he's a he's, he's a, a runner. Horse. Let me tell you something. Yeah, that guy, horse. he plus, gets it, he gets it done. Plus, Gafford can run if he needs. Yes, to. yes, like Gafford, yes. That guy's a water bucket. Yes. That guy's moving on, moving yep. on good. What about news on James Summers or other former Page players? Any news on James? Is James back at quarterback now? Well, you know what? I was talking to um, uh, one of our coaches Friday, and he was saying that he saw James. They went down, if I'm not mistaken. He went to – they had James at quarterback, wide receiver, slot, running back. It's almost like the James Summer Show. Yes. Wherever he can go or wherever they can use him at, so he's, a specialist. he's ready to go. He's yeah. a specialist. Then, you yeah. know, but he's probably going to get more tailback, mm -hmm. you know, but the guy's so athletic, he oh, can play he anywhere. he got more carries in that spring game because he only got about four or five. That's not enough really to be able to turn yourself loose. Uh, I, I think he ran for 100 some yards in the spring game. I think he got over 100 yards. I think he ran like 132 yards. He's definitely like got the carries. ATH beside his yeah. name. You can't put that. Athlete. Yeah. That's, that's, that's you know, that, there you go again with the wide receiver, mm -hmm. <clears throat> running back. Yeah. You know, put him in the slot, <clears throat> put him on the center. You know, the guy can do anything. What's the best place in the county, a, a most accommodating place to go to to film a game other than Page? Where, where's the best place <laughs> in the county other than Page? you got to love it. That's your home. Away AJ from home. Simeon Stadium. Yeah? AJ Simeon Stadium. Yeah. It's probably you got your the, own booth over there, probably. Um, you have your it's, – it's huge, and it's like five levels, and you're on one side, and you can yell and scream, and the guys on the other side can't hear you. Yeah. I mean, but, you know, you can also go inside in the glass case. They have they, – it's basically like a college stadium. Right. To me, that's that's the best one. But the best one was last year at NC State when you're on the roof. Yeah. You know, that was great up there watching the football game. Well, so it was uh, warm that day, too. It was, warm it was very warm, but I, I enjoyed it. You know. um, look at this. Here's your final question because you got to get rolling toward the game. I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Good, I'm buddy? fine. Yeah. I'm okay. Fine. What about uh, if you could visit any place in the world, where would you go? Joseph, he would go to Sarasota, Florida. If you could visit any place in the world, just get out of here. I used man, to live so. in Sarasota, Florida. Did you really? Yeah, you when I was well. playing, when I was playing with the White Sox, that's where I was in Sarasota. Hmm. I live right behind the stadium, Siesta Key, Lido he Beach, just mentioned that, yeah. uh, Longboat Key. There every, every Sunday, yeah. I was at one of them every Sunday. Yeah. Um, wherever I want to go, um, I always want to go to Hawaii, but now I want to go to Cuba. 
Cuba. Yeah, I want to go watch some baseball. Head down to Cuba for Yeah, baseball. I want to see some baseball down there. I want to see what those little if kids do. If they were do. doing baseball in the Olympics, I asked a baseball, some baseball people just this past week, if they were doing baseball in the Olympics, uh, who would be the best uh, matchup for the USA? Who would be their toughest competition? Would it come from Cuba, the Cuba. Dominicans, or who? I think it would be Cuba. Cuba. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cuba, by far, is probably the next ones to us. And the game tomorrow night between Page and Northern, you're heading out that way probably about what time? What's your schedule like on game day? I think we're going to, you know, we do pregame at 4, and we'll probably leave, I don't know, probably about 5.30, uh, 5.15. Roll in there, get to get the Get there, the kids get change the bathroom and get the cobwebs, yeah. you know, go out and stretch. And you usually and get up to your uh, perch up above the press box pretty early, I do. too. I do. Get there and get set up. I do. I get set up, and then I go down on the field and – Take notes and watch and so take some notes too. Yeah, see what you know. What do you do with those notes? Give a little bit of give a little bit of advice. A little bit. Yeah, you know, sometimes you know we talk about things that we see, things that I see. I might go over, you know, talk to the receivers a little bit. You know, I mean just just give all the help I can. Going into the game <clears> from a scouting standpoint, do you know anything at all about Northern? Anything about Northern this year? Well I got the film on them. You know, we all yeah, you know, we share when, you, when the film comes in, do you break it down? Well, I do now. Mm -hmm. I just I just got it and uh I saw then when they scrimmage Andrews, um, you know, offensively, they're going to be okay, but nothing like the past. Defensively, they did really well against Andrews, but, you know, Andrews has a new coach, and I think their defense ahead of their offense right now. So, um, I like our chances. Mm -hmm. Do you see it coming both ways, air and ground both? Probably, right? I do. I see it coming both ways Friday night for us, air and the ground, more, more so the ground. I think we can run on them. Now, can you take that offensive line, which you talk about those guys are coming along since they've been coached up, and on the leadership on the offensive line, do you kind of put that uh, general's helmet on maybe Nick – that's kind of a neat way to put it, the general's helmet in football. Do you put that on Nick Makovic? Is Nick the leader? Makovic is a big boy. Oh, yeah, he gets it done. He gets it done. Yes, I do. I do. He gets it done. He's a, he's a, he's one of those guys that he, he, he won't stop. You know, he, he – Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's a big boy, too. Coach, I know I'm going to let you get rolling here, let you roll out. Thanks for rolling in. Hope yes, the food was good. We'll, oh, it was good. Believe it or not, I will see you tomorrow night about what time you'll be there. Oh, I'll be there probably about, I'll be there about 5.15, 5.30. I'll see you about 5.15 tomorrow night then. Yes, sir. It's going to be nice and warm. It is. It is. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. I'll say that kind of facetiously. It's going to be warm. All right. Thank you, Coach. Yes, sir. Good luck tonight. Take care. All right. Yes, sir. Page and Northern tonight at 7, right?